So we're going to be making some violin string uh, earrings. So I have a length here of violin string and I'm just going to measure out a length here that is, we're going to go with about two and a half inches um, so that I have the right size that I need to make these um, strings. And then once I've measured that out, I'm just going to come here and cut that length. And then I'm going to take that same length, double it up, make sure it's exactly the same, tap that down, and then make sure, measure twice, cut once, make sure it's exactly the same size, exactly the same length, and then come in and cut that second length. Okay, so then I'm going to take one of these lengths and I'm going to bend it again, making sure that the ends are together, that they're matching up. And I'm going to insert them into this piece here, making sure that they're lying as flat as possible. And then I'm going to come in and bend this clamp down so that it's tying into that length and then finishing it off so that I have a nice length of earring. So this earring is going to be like a drop style earring. And again, making sure that I've got this well clamped in. Because I want to make sure that these sides are equal and even. It gives a nice flat, flat lay. And I've got one pair of earrings here. Make sure that I'm adjusting the size. I don't want to be too rough with it because the violin strings can be fairly um, fragile. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this pier here. Make sure that it's together. Length off here. As I said, they can be a little bit fragile sometimes, so I do have to be careful. So I'm going to take this length. I'm going to add that little bit there. So I have the longer here. And I'm going to take this longer length here to make this into an earring. So I've got that same length of earring here, making sure that it's the same length. And again, making sure that these two sides are together, tapping them together to make sure that I've got that here. Making sure that it's laying flat in my holder and then clamping these down so that they stay well into and then laying these flat. Okay, so I have these two earring lengths and I want to make sure that they are the same length they look the same, that they lay as similar as possible. No, I am, because the things are handmade, see this one is a little bit flatter. And now this one's a little bit longer. And so I'm going to make sure that I fix that because I want to make sure that they are the same. So I'm going to try with another one. And I'm going to grab a different piece here. Try that again. Sometimes you need to make three to match so to, that you have two that are matching up. So I'm going to leave this flat here. Leave this flat in here. Again, crimping this down. Making sure that it's nice and tight. Okay. 
And so these two are actually the same length. So I'm going to remove this one here because that one is too long. And so I have two that are the same length and that are actually a matching set. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a few of these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four of these little lengths here. These hoops, or links. And I'm going to make sure that I've got the open end here. And open this. And close it tight. Making sure that this is really nice and tight here. And another one. Making sure that my hook is facing away from the back or towards the back. And I've got one pair here. And another one. Again, making sure I know which is the front and which is the back of the earring. So that when I put my earring hook in, I know that I'm putting in the right size. Oh, making sure that this is properly aligned. I really want to make sure that both these sides are completely flush with one another. And one more. Again, making sure that this is the front and so that my earring hook is facing towards the back making sure that I've got it towards the right side. Okay, so and I have one pair of earrings right here. And these are violin string. Oops. Let me just put this so you can see it better. A pair of violin string earrings. That's how it's done.